we used to think that people's habits were set. Psychologists, back to psychologists again, uh, created the kind of psychology that we created because there was a belief that people can't change very easily, that people uh, have the kind of brain that once it's set a pattern, that's it. We kind of freeze it into place. It looks and sounds that way because we were living in a world where people didn't assist people from their own motivation, from their own direction. Yet if you look at the energy, the responsiveness, the capacity of a child to grow and change and develop values, it's enormous. We're still children. The discoveries about the brain is that, yes, we've created, call them golden highways in the brain, uh, passages that we've really uh, used a lot, but you can develop new ones quickly. And when we do, remember that discussion we had about the three weeks to change a habit? Suppose you decided to learn a whole new capacity, and every day you spent 20 minutes on it. Just 20 minutes. Uh, but part of that time involved visualization. Now, we're going to talk more. We don't even need 20 minutes for huge visual changes. We need like three minutes a day. Uh, very quickly, the brain develops all sorts of changes based on visualization. Because whatever we visualize very clearly in a motion picture, seeing ourselves in the picture, the brain treats as real. So it's as if you're actually doing that. Do you follow everybody? No difference. This is very, very important news. It's uh, the discoveries about the way in which neuro the, the connections work. We build new passageways. We link them together. And neuroplasticity is the name of this process. It can actually be followed with cameras you know, following, uh, they use color photography. I don't know exactly how they use it with MRI imaging. But they can see parts of the brain grow. And often what's growing is the connection between <coughs> the left and right uh, side of the brain, which is similar to growing the connections between and linking into the old uh, emotional brain and the... Uh, uh, visioning uh, areas, the strategic development areas of our thinking. So we're linking conscious mind and unconscious mind, so to speak. It's exactly what coaching is designed to assist people to do.